this thing's on. Okay, hi. Hi. Let's see if I can find a little spot to put my phone today. Probably not going to happen. I'll just talk to you then. So I'm sitting in a carpool lane again. Imagine that. Oh, hi. Okay, maybe that'll work for a second. So I'm sitting in the carpool lane again. Getting ready to put my shaders up because it gets darn hot out here. I kind of like to box myself in with all this shade because it makes it not so hot in my car because I sit here for like an hour. I sit for like an hour and wait for my kids to get out of school because it's really difficult. I did it. Okay. Okay. So now, now we can talk and be friends again. Okay. Hi. So I'm sitting in my car again, waiting in carpool. Now at least I have some shade. Don't be jealous. I learned my lesson last year. I was sitting in carpool every day for at least an hour. And guess what? I got hot a lot and I would have my air conditioning on full blast and my car was so hot and I put little shades in the back windows a little bit and I'd hop in the back of my car and that kind of helped but it is so hot out here I'm looking for my chapstick all I'm finding is red lipstick retainer case gotta have that you guys want to see my new retainers I'll show you Tara's. Oh my gracious, where is my chapstick? Um, anyway, I'm trying for my chapstick because my lips get really, really dry when I wear my retainers. I'm not wearing them right now, but I can show you in a minute if you really want me to. I can do that. Where's my chapstick? Where's my chapstick? Okay, so anyway. Hi again. Just wanted to do a little video for you guys because I haven't done one for a very long time. I don't want you to think that I'm not active in life anymore. I just have had quite the summer of fun with my kids and sometimes not so much fun in the summer with my kids because sometimes it's kind of hard and difficult to entertain those little creeps. I'm just kidding. They're not creeps. I love them. But also, I started a new Instagram towards the end of spring, and I've been doing that a lot. And then just recently, I started up a blog, and I really am loving that, actually, because sometimes I think I have something to say that people might want to hear. I don't know. I just think it. Sometimes people read it. I've got like a comment, <laughs> so maybe somebody's reading. Anyway, oh, let me show you my retainers. Okay, so this is my retainer case. It's blue. It's clean because I wash it all the time. I'm a freakazoid about germs and dirty bacteria, and these are my retainers. They look like whitening trays, don't they? They're not. They go in my mouth. Like that. And they hurt sometimes only at night. Like when I wake up in the morning because I've been clenching and grinding all night long. And they kind of hurt because they don't, you see that? They don't meet all the way down, touching my teeth. Maybe that's where they're supposed to be. IDK. But there's a lot of space. Watch, I put this one in. There's a lot of space between them. Anyway, sometimes I wear them during the day at the same time. Sometimes I wear one at a time. At nighttime, I wear them both because I don't want to not have straight teeth. I work very hard. 
hard. I doubt a lot of things trying to have good teeth. Struggling lately with my hair because it won't grow and I'm wishing that it would. I feel like maybe I need to get some prenatals or something. Isn't that what people do? That or like those it works hair skin nails. I don't know. I've heard that prenatals are better than that though. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe you can help me out. Ha! Huh. Leave a comment. That'd be nice. But anyway, I'm just going to sit here and wait for a little while. Like 50 more minutes. Probably check my Instagram. I'll probably check my blog. Guys, go and, go and follow it. It's raw underscore mom on Instagram. And my blog is the raw mom dot blogspot dot com. It's a little bit in the works still. Gotta get my logo up on there. Get a couple more little things. But it's getting there. And it's fun. And if you want to read my stuff, that would be cool. That was easy. This one's not so easy. Oh, sick. That's disgusting. It's a good thing I carry wipes. Anyway, I'll make y'all another video sometime soon if you want. That'll be fun for me. Maybe a little vlog journal entry. Maybe we can talk to Siri because I've got a lot of questions for her lately and right now I don't have my phone or my iPad or anything so I have my phone but I don't have another phone because I have to use this phone for making a video but I got a lot of questions for her like how many people actually do wear their retainers how many people have permanent retainers because my permanent one got taken out and I really like that it's really cut down my my cleaning time at night and in the mornings and blossoming as a breeze and I really love it. I have a lot of questions about that. And I've got a lot of questions about carpool. Maybe I just need to give this to my husband or the principal of the school. Do you know that there are some people that sit in line with me? Not like with me, but like in their car, around me, lined up. We all get here about the same time. I can't tell you the secret time because then you'll come early and you'll snag my spot. But we get here a little bit early, a lot of it early. And there are some biatches out here, like brat. I can't believe how naughty and rude they are. There's one in particular that last year bothered me and even this year bothers me. And I'm a kind of person that has like a lot of happiness and I don't not like people unless you like do me or my kids wrong then I might have a little issue with you if you do me wrong a lot of times you're gonna probably not be my friend anymore sorry no cookies for you I'm sorry but I'm not because you deserved it because you asked for it yourself but anyway one of the girls out here I look at her and I'm like girl are you serious are you seriously being a carpool bully I don't I don't even pay attention to that because, sorry, I'm a big girl. And I almost told you my age just now. And I'm actually having a birthday. And maybe, maybe, maybe that's what I'm going to do. Not maybe, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make you a video about how I feel about turning this many years old. And we can talk about that. You can talk, but not a lot because it probably will be a lot because I talk a lot. But I really don't want to discuss it for a long time because it really makes me a little bit uncomfortable because I'm not 17 anymore. I don't want to be 17 anymore. I'm grateful I was a 17 one time, but this year has just come up very quickly and I'm ready and I'm not ready. I might be like my mother and not tell you my real age ever again. So if I tell you my next video, count yourself lucky. So anyway, until next time, good to see ya.
have a good day